Dear Bishop Eaton, dear bishops, dear pastors, dear church leaders, dear members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, grace and peace to you in the name of Jesus Christ, who makes us one body of Christ. I bring you warm greetings from Jerusalem on behalf of my church, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land, which I thought I could bring you in person. Unfortunately, due to cancelled flights, I am unable to be with you all today at this important gathering. Our Church, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land, is a member of the Lutheran World Federation. We are the local expression of the global Lutheran communion in Palestine, in Israel, and in Jordan. In fact, we are the only Lutheran World Federation member church in the whole Middle East and North Africa. The people of our church are Palestinian Christians who have lived in this land since the time of Jesus. In the Holy Bible, in the story of Pentecost, we hear that also Arabs heard the Gospel in Arabic. And still today in our churches, our members worship and sing to God in Arabic. But we know that we share the same identity and the same theology as Lutheran churches all over the world. We are all part of the same church and the same body of Christ. As Palestinian Christians, our part of the church is facing many challenges today. As Christians, we are a religious minority living alongside Muslim and Jewish neighbors. As Palestinians, many of our members live behind the wall in occupied areas or as refugees and many have to get permits and cross checkpoints just to come to worship or to work or to visit family or even to travel to their own lands. We see many people, especially young people, who want to leave their homeland in order to find more freedom and more potential in other countries. The Christian community is only 1% of the Holy Land and it's getting smaller and smaller. If this doesn't change, we are afraid that the churches of the Holy Land may become empty of local Christians and will only be museums for tourists. This must not happen. The Palestinian Christian Church and our Church, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land, have a special identity and a special calling from God. We are called to be disciples of Jesus Christ in the land where Jesus was born, where Jesus lived, and where he was resurrected from the dead. It is not an accident that our church is in this land. We are called by Jesus to be here. We are called by Jesus to echo this ministry and mission in our ministry and mission. We as a church are called to look forward and to follow Jesus into the future of our land, the future of the church and the future of our people. Palestinian Christians play a very important role in our communities, in Palestinian society and Israeli society. And throughout the Middle East, our Church, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land, 
is part of this important role. We remember that Martin Luther brought reformations to the church of his time to be faithful to God's calling. And we remember that the church is called to be always reforming, following the Holy Spirit. Our church, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land, is a reforming church. We are much smaller than the ELCA. We have only six congregations. Yet our small church does very big things. We have four schools that teach students from kindergarten through high school. And we help to support Darul Kalima Lutheran University in Bethlehem. We have an environmental education center and a diaconical ministry that serves the whole area. We work together with other Christian churches and have dialogue with Muslim and Jews. We work with the Lutheran World Federation to support Augusta Victoria Hospital in East Jerusalem, a vocational training center and an affordable housing project in Jerusalem. We have a gender justice ministry and I am proud to announce that in January 2023 we will ordain the first Palestinian Lutheran woman pastor to serve in the Holy Land. Sally Azar, my daughter, and I am proud to have her. We are a reforming church. We believe that God is calling us not to give up and not to focus only in ourselves. God is calling us to turn to the world, to work with peace, for peace, for justice, for all Palestinians and all Israelis, to serve and to love our neighbors as ourselves. And in all of this important ministry, the ELCJHL is not alone. Our global Lutheran family is a source of great support and prayers. And you, the ELCA, are one of our strongest and most faithful partners. You support us through the work of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Missionaries like Pastor Gabby and Pastor Megan Elabuni and Pastor Adam and Pastor Jordan Miller stupend Dick through the Yagram program, through grants that help us to fund our ministry projects and programs and more. The Evangelical Lutheran Church in America has shown us that you are in the Holy Land, not for yourselves, but be with us. We feel that you stand with us and walk with us, and we know that you also advocate for true peace and true justice for all of our people. On behalf of my church, I thank you, and I thank God for you. I want to end with an invitation. Come and see. Come to the Holy Land and see and hear from the people. Come and visit, not just the ancient church buildings, but the living church. Come and see the hope and joy that God is bringing to people in a difficult situation. Come and experience the love and hospitality of our people. I couldn't come to you, but you can come to us, and I will be very, very happy and glad to meet you and to welcome you in our church. Please pray for us, even if we are far away from each other. We need you, and we need your prayers. And may God bless you all, now and forever. Thank you.